Daddy. Okay, let's take a look at the new iTunes U app. So if you've ever used iBooks, iTunes U is going to feel very familiar. As you can see, it has a beautiful mahogany bookshelf with all of your courses neatly collected into one place. You can also look at them in list view for more information. Now, as Eddie mentioned, we're introducing new complete online courses. Let's take a look at this one from Duke University. This is a real course from Duke that's being taught today. Now, all the new courses start out with these, cat with these uh, topics on the left. Overview, this course is on core concepts in chemistry. Comes with a description of the course. Instructor, which tells you about the teacher. An outline, which gives you a complete syllabus. And teachers can even customize these topics and give you things like office hours. Now, down the right-hand side, you'll see four tabs. Info, posts, notes, and materials. Let's look at posts. This is where teachers can post messages to all of the students in the class, including the, their assignments. And as new messages are posted and new assignments are given, you'll automatically receive a notification. Let's take a look at my next assignment. This is to read a chapter. And as I tap on it, it opens up and shows me the book. And just tapping on it switches me over to iBooks and opens me right to that spot in the book. Now, this is a lesson that was created with iBooks author. It works just like those textbooks that you saw Roger demonstrate earlier. And I can just swipe through them. And if I see something that's important to remember, I'm just going to select it and highlight it. And when I'm done, just switch back to iTunes U, and I can mark that assignment complete. It's really easy. So let's take a look at my next assignment. This one's to watch a video. With the new iTunes U app, you can either download these videos to the iPad, or I can just tap to stream them. So we're going to work through an example that's kind of fun, because it allows us to calculate the pH of a raindrop in the absence of acid rain. If you're an environmental chemist and you want to understand the impacts of acid rain, you need to understand what the pH of an ordinary raindrop is first. So the example we're going to look at. And when I'm done watching that video, just tap back. And again, I can mark it complete. So it's really easy to get all my assignments from my teacher. So let's take a look at notes iTunes U will gather all of the notes for your books and from your courses into one place. And you can see that that section that I highlighted in the chemistry lesson is up there at the top. And I can even tap on that and add my own notes to the highlighting. And if I want to see what all the materials are in this course, tap materials and they're all collected into one spot. These new courses can contain audio, video, books, documents, including PDFs, pages, and keynote documents, and even apps. And for the materials I don't have, the apps I need to, need to get, I can buy them right here and get them from the App Store, the iBook Store, or the iTunes Store. So where do these courses come from? Well, from the bookshelf, in the upper left, there's a catalog button. Just tap it, and the bookshelf flips over. And you can see the iTunes U catalog with all the great iTunes U courses that we're featuring. Here's that Duke course for chemistry. And you can see we've got a complete description of the course. You can check out the course outline. And you can even see how other students have rated the course. And when you're ready to take it, just tap the subscribe button. And that is the all-new iTunes U app. Thank you.